Hi everyone, it's Miss Meagle here and today is Friday and we're going to be doing lots of reasoning problems together. So we're going to do a warm up as usual and then I will introduce your task and we'll do one together as well. Let's get going. So this is our warm up now using grouping which we've been doing all week to help us with some worded problems. So let's get going. Number one we'll do together first of all. If we group nine apples into groups of three, how many groups will we have? So what I would start doing is grouping them into three and keep going until I get to the number nine. So let's do the first one. So group of three, then I know I could do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they're all groups of three. So I know how many groups will we have? We will have one, two, three. Let's see if you can do number two by yourself. Let's read it together. If we share eight flowers between four vases, how many will be in each vase? So pause here and have a little go. If you're struggling, then what you can do is just share out your eight flowers, counting all the way to eight until you have an equal amount in each. Off you go. So let's have a little look. So I'm going to be counting to eight and making sure I'm sharing them between four vases. So one, two, three, four, and I'm going to start all the way again, five, six, seven, eight. So I've shared out eight between one, two, three, four vases, and how many will be in each vase? Well, there's two, 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 and two. So they're equal and there will be two in each vase. Number three, which calculation represents eight flowers being shared between four vases? So use the numbers in your worded sentence here and see which one you think is correct. So hopefully you pause and have a little think. Well, I know that it says eight flowers share between four vases. So I know it should be eight divided by four. And you were right if you selected that one as well. So now on to some different learning. So 10 divided by two. And they've got their 10 counters there. Let's just check by counting in our twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Lovely. So we're going to be doing some sharing. So we need two circles because we're obviously dividing it into two so and there they did it that was very quick so what they would do is draw one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just to make sure that they were both equal so now the number sentence has an answer ten divided by two equals five let's just check that as well one two three four five one two three four five they're right there's five in each grouping so they have their 10 again so now they're grouping it into groups of two so now this is a different number sentence 10 divided by 2 equals 5 so now we want you to do this one by yourself so pause here and have a little think so hopefully you had six items or six objects or you could have drawn six like they've done here like an array and let's find out. So they're sharing first. So they need three circles and they're sharing the six between the three. And as you can see, we've now got the answer is two. Well done. So now we should be moving on to grouping. So they have their six and they're going to group into threes. So they've grouped into three and their number sentence is six divided by three equals two. Two groups. So sharing, grouping. So here is sharing, because we shared them out equally. And here they've grouped them into groups of three. So six divided by three equals two, and six divided by three equals two again. This three means how many groups we are sharing between. So we have one, two, three groups we're sharing between. This three means how many is in each group. This answer is how many are in each group. And again, this one is how many groups we can make. So we have some bean bags now. How many groups of 10 can you make? So pause here and have a little think. So now it's asking you to group them into five and we're going to see how many questions. So I'm going to get up all the questions first and then we'll go through them as all together then. So pause here and have a little think. 
So I hope you took as much time as you needed because there was a lot of questions to go through. So, first of all, they asked you to group them into groups of 10. So let's just check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's check there's equal as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Brilliant. So they grouped them into two groups of 10. So they had 20 to begin with divided by 10 equals 2. So here they've got their groups of 5. Then they've got four groups of five. So 20 divided by five equals four. So here are all the answers now. Oh, let's just go back so that's very quick. Here we go. So five groups of four, and here's our number sentence. 10 groups of two, here's your number sentence. And 20 groups of one equals this number sentence here. So I hope you're feeling a little bit more confident about using your language of groups of and using the divider sign as well. So let's move on. So, 8 divided by 2. So she's jumping in groups of 2 all the way until she gets to 8. So she's done 4 jumps of 2 are equal to 8. So this is how your two times tables can help you when you're doing some divided questions as well. So 8 divided by 2 equals 4 because she's done 1, 2, 3, 4 jumps. Again, here's your 5 times table. So 15 divided by 5. So let's count in our 5s. 5, 10, 15. She's done three jumps and that is your answer there. So three jumps of five are equal to 15. Again, let's do our 10 times tables. Can you find out how many jumps she will need? What is 60 divided by 10? Have a pause. So hopefully you are very confident in counting in your 10s. Let's do it together all the way until we get to 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We've done one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. So six jumps of 10 are equal to 60. And lastly here, so we have 18 divided by mm equals mm. So obviously it's asked you to think about what we could count in and we know that this ends in eight. So this is an even number. So we know we could do our jumps of two so we could count in steps of two so let's do that together putting up our fingers every time we say a two times tables until we get to 18 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 so we have nine different fingers up so our number set would be 18 divided by 2, because we count in our 2s, equals 9. So here are some of the other number sentences as well you could have had. However, I just want you to focus on your 2 times tables, because obviously we can count in our 2s. Let's move on. So here it says 30 divided by 1 equals. So they've got 30 crayons there, and it equals 30, because you're sharing them between one child, so they're going to get them all, which is brilliant. So now... Pause here and have a little think. 30 divided by 2 equals what? Well, we know using last week's knowledge, dividing by 2 is also halving. So if you know what half of 30 is, then you know that will be 15. If you weren't sure, what I hope you did as well is done two circles and shared 30 until you got to 0. And again here, if you're happy counting in your three times tables, then you can get there quicker. If not, drawing three circles and sharing your 30 between them, you would have got, hopefully it will find us the answer, equals 10. And here you can achieve all of these by either counting your five times tables or drawing the amount of circles as well. If you want to pause here and have a go, then that is brilliant. If not, we will move on. So 30 divided by four, you can't do it. So if you tried that, well done, because you know that the groups would have been unequal, so it wouldn't have been able to write an answer. Counting in your fives, you would have gone to six, 
and here you would have also got five and then if you shared them between seven you wouldn't have got an answer because it would have been unequal as well so they were just testing us to make sure we were sharing them equally so so the challenges today consist of three different sheets and I would like you to look at them as if they are bronze, silver and gold. If you're doing bronze today we want you again to do this practically if the pictures aren't enough to help you. Um, if you're doing silver we'd like you to complete bronze and silver and the same for gold. If you want to go to gold can you do bronze, silver and gold first. So it's using all of the different methods we have used in our warm up. So just sharing the beach balls between the different amounts and the same with the air balloons and the tennis balls there as well. Then moving on to silver, and we'll read this together. Sammy has tried to group these counters equally. What mistake has she made? Use counters to show Sammy how to make three equal groups. Can Sammy make two equal groups using these counters as well? So again, drawing two equal groups, share the same amount and see if she is right or see if she can or can't. And finally, looking at gold now, which groups are Leah and Chen describing? So linking up to the bottom, Chen says there are three groups. Which set am I thinking of? Leah says there are two items in each group. Which set am I thinking of? So have a little think, write down which one you think is the correct one that they're thinking of. And then also, So that is it for your Friday learning today. I hope you've had a lovely week and enjoy your weekend as well. Bye.